Good day, basic three PPUs. Today on mathematics, we shall be looking at time. We shall be looking at time. On the time, we'll look at some vocabulary. Number one is calendar. Calendar shows dates. Dates. Dates of the week, weeks of the month, and months of the year. Leap year. A leap year is a year that has February 29 days. A leap year is a year that has February 29 days. Other years, February is 28 days. But for leap year, February is 29 days. That means a, a, the days, number of days in the year is 366 days for a leap year. Why normal year is 365 days? Minutes. Minutes is the what? Is the longer hand. Is the longer hand of your time. We shall look at that. Analog. Analog means reading the hour and the minute hand of a clock in wet. Reading the hour and the minute hand of a clock in wet. Half hour. Half hour is we shall look at it, it's just like, let's say, 30 minutes past 3 or 3.30. We call it half hour. Digital. Digital is almost the opposite of analog. It's reading the hour and the minute hand of a clock, the way it appears. That means in numbers. For example, I can say 4.15 a.m. So this is the digital time. But if I want to read this in words, I will say a quarter past four. Quarter past four. Or 15 minutes past four. So this is analog. This is digital. The next one is quarter hour. We shall be looking at what quarter hour is. As, we shall be looking at what as is. Or as are. Week. We know what week is, days, we know what days are, events. We shall be looking at events, dates, and months. And what do we use to measure time? A clock is used to measure time. This is a clock. A clock is used to measure time. A clock has two hands. It has the hour hand and the minute hand. I say a clock has two hands, the hour hand and the minute hand, the hour hand and the minute hand. The long hand is called the minute hand. The long hand, this one, is called the minute hand, while the short hand is called the hour hand. I repeat, the clock has two hands, which is used to measure the time, the hour hand, which is the short hand, and the minute hand, which is a long hand. So I will say that the clock is used to measure time. It has two hands. One, the hour hand. The hour hand is the shorter hand. The shorter hand. And also, two, we have the minute hand. The minute hand. The minute hand is the longer hand. The longer hand. So let's draw a clock on the board. And you have 12, you have 6, you have 9, you have 3, you have 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. So, this hand is the longer hand. This hand is called the longer hand which is also called the hour, I'm sorry, the minute hand. 
the minute hand. So anytime you see the longer hand, it's, it's used to determine the minute. Why the shorter hand? The shorter hand, shorter hand is called the hour hand. It's used to determine the hour. It's used to determine the hour. To determine the time, let's say for example, this longer hand is pointing to 12, while the shorter hand is pointing to 4. So, you will say, you start with the shorter hand, which is the hour hand. You say 4. This 12 means o'clock. O'clock, zero clock. It sums at zero. So it's zero clock. So we we'll call it four o'clock. Four o'clock. If it point if the short one points to five, it is called five o'clock. It is called what? Five o'clock. If it points to eight, the long one is still in twelve. It is called 8 o'clock. So, it is the short time you use to determine the, the hour. So, it is 8 o'clock. The hour hand is in 8. So, you say 8 o'clock. If I put it at 9, if I say tell the time, it is 9 o'clock. If I put it at 11, tell the time, it's 11 o'clock. What are the both of them are on 12? It is 12 o'clock. If I put it at 1, the short hand, which is the determining factor, 1 o'clock. Put it at 2, 2 o'clock. So wherever the short hand is, we determine the, the time. So if it's at 6, it's 6 o'clock. So let's draw it on the board. And what will be the answer? The short hand is pointing to 2, our time is 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, so if I give another one, The short hand is pointing to 8. The time is 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. I hope you understood it. So anywhere the short hand is pointing to, it determines the time. 12 is always called o'clock. 12 is always called o'clock. So if I put it in 4, it becomes 4 o'clock. So what are you going to do for me now? You are going to refer to your mathematics textbook, mathematics textbook, page 165, mathematics textbook, page 165, study the following clock faces and tell the time in hours, copy and complete the sentences. So this one, I will do one for you, this is the long hand, this is the short hand. So you see this long hand is the light shadow. The short hand is the thicker shadow. So the time is 3 o'clock. The time is 8 o'clock. So you do the rest of, for me. Number 1, number 2 have been done for you. So do number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I hope you had a wonderful time with me today. Thank you very much and God bless.